Hi, this is Pranat Koenig, BK Solutions LLC. Today we're going to talk about exterior walls, exterior wall installation. Behind me you see a house built in the 60s and uh, originally they put a little bit of fiberglass in there but it has completely deteriorated. And, uh, it's maybe an inch, an inch and a half of material in there. And uh, what I normally do is I, I remove the exterior siding, then I drill through the sheeting and I add cellulose. So what we're going to do here is um, every 16 inches I need to take out the shingle, drill inside and put my fill hose which is going to fill the wall all the way from the bottom up to the second floor and then on the second floor further up I need to do the same thing. We took some siding off and uh, we peeled off also the rain barrier. And now we can see the sheeting underneath it and that's where we're going to drill into it. And as you can see there's a little bit of fiberglass in there. I would say it's about an inch thick so that still gives me about two and a half, three inches of space to add some cellulose insulation in there. Uh, that should make a big difference to the house because if you have uh, cavities around the insulation you start to have uh, a physical phenomenon called convection and there's air moving inside the walls just kind of bypassing the insulation and accelerating the heat exchange inside the wall. All the holes have been prepared on this level. Uh, there is a little bit of fiberglass in there but it's not that much so I can probably add a two, another 60-70% more material in those walls easily and uh, the way it works is you push the hose all the way down so you reach the bottom of the, the floor uh, you plug the hole, make sure the material doesn't come out and uh, we're going to start the machine. So um, you can see now this wall has been completely filled. Um, it's nice and dense, it feels like a, a hard mattress compared to this here where you can see, I mean, it's I can stick my finger in and then barely touch the fiberglass. So. There's some space here. Down, this is just uh, cellulose. Um, it's a natural product, has a very good insulation value. It's about 3.5 R value per inch, which makes it equivalent to open cell foam without all the disadvantages of open cell foam being uh, oil based and flammable, um, off gassing, and so on. If your siding is still in good condition, I can typically remove it and put it back in place without you being able to tell me where I actually did the installation work inside your wall. So we finished insulating all the exterior walls and uh, even though there was some fiberglass in those walls, I was able to put close to 40 bags of cellulose in those uh, walls. So that tells you that uh, there was some space and there was not enough insulation in those walls. So if you have a house nearby and uh, you wish me to improve your house, make it more energy efficient, comfortable and cozy during the winter and nice and cool in the summer, give me a call and I come by and have a look and tell you what can be done and what not. Thank you very much.